Hello, this report is for 3811s. So for those who have the birth numbers 3811, um, this is for you. So 11 represents double creativity and confidence. Eight is abundance and power. And three is expression and sensitivity. So those on the 3811 path are here to combine creativity and material success learning to apply their power and express their energy with compassion and generosity. They are not here to achieve wealth or influence for their own sakes, but rather in service of a larger cause, whether it's a small circle of friends or colleagues or the community at large. Because what we're here to do doesn't come easily, the life purpose of 3811s is no exception. With a creative drive even more powerful than other double ones due to its influence of eight energy, 3811s have to deal with powerful insecurity and self-doubt, as well as a tendency to give away, avoid, or sabotage their own power or abundance. They often do this with their mouth, since they also deal with expression issues. On their life path, 3811s must eventually get in touch with and express their feelings and sensitivities, overcome self-doubt, and deal with deep energy and issues related to repressed anger toward authorities, so they can take on their own authority. We do not add together the final two digits of the four digit birth number. However, however, if we did add them together, the 11, one plus one, we would end up with 38 slash 11 slash two, adding the potential influence of cooperative energy. For 3811s with a long double creativity, this means that until 3811s mature, their independent, even controlling nature, they make them difficult to work with. They may be overly solicitous and help at first, but if they overhelp, the two energy will send them rebounding into resentment. These inherently powerful individuals whose power may alternately feel suppressed or explosive, have the energy and drive to make money and make waves. Their life work in whatever form it takes involves learning to control themselves rather than others and directing their considerable power and energy to creative contributions that uplift and empower those around them helping others find their own source of energy and inspiration. Most 3811s feel they can't give enough or can't receive enough. Combining emotional sensitivity and raw, though often inhibited power, they are driven to powerful creative energy. They may spend their life holding a tiger by the tail, until they tame that tiger and learn to channel their energy in positive ways. Otherwise, they may surf, suffer from addictions to drugs, orgasms, or food. With the power and authority issues of eight, most 3811s can get preachy or bossy and controlling. These attributes can affect anyone working eight, but for 3811s, the issues of eight energy are amplified by the presence of the double one. Like all ones are double ones, 3811s also have to deal with insecurity issues, which for them are compounded by a tendency to repress or withhold the power associated with eight. 
The more 3811s dedicate their life to a common cause or higher purpose that extends beyond them in accordance with the law of higher will, the more they will purify the eight energy and release their creative energy, which generates the courage to step forward into life. When 3811s are working in the positive, brilliant and powerful leaders or dynamic creative advisors, these individuals can solve long standing problems, create new options, and open doors to a better world. Money isn't the main issue for them. They apply their energy and there's always enough. They give and receive without keeping track of the score and they attract others with their powerful energy field. They help empower others and they share abundantly. They've learned to lead from a position of equality and mutual respect. Driving the material success path with a tidal wave of energy makes for an exciting, productive life. Now, if the 3811s are working in a negative, these individuals will outmaneuver, outcompete, and overcontrol others, often through manipulation. To ensure to put themselves on the line, they deny their power and sabotage their success, or alternately, they exploit their power and seek to achieve success by dominating or outshining others. Avoiding exercise, they struggle with addictions due to blocked creative energy. Frustrated by pent-up energy, they alienate others due to an aloof negative exterior, but underneath churn, gnawing self-doubts and insecurities. Those working 3811s combine a mixture of vulnerable areas and traits associated with three. Blocked expression affecting the throat area, double one, reproductive area and lower abdomen and lower back, and eight, possible self-sabotage in the form of accidents or less frequently, burnout from overwork. This doesn't imply that 3811s will necessarily suffer any illness or accidents. Maladies most often come when these individuals work negative patterns, and they can be viewed as life, life's feedback signaling the need to change old habits. The most effective healing mythologies for 3811s include positive visualizations, work with beliefs, body work, or other relatively subtle work with the mind and energy field. As long as they keep their creative energy flowing, 3811s have sturdy dispositions and enjoy stable, vigorous health. Those working 3811 like to make their own rules about nutrition. Most 3811s are too busy to make food a central issue in their lives, except for creative cooking. For most 3811s, food is just fuel for their life and ambitions. A vegetarian or modified vegetarian diet helps to balance a tendency toward aggressiveness. Like other double ones, 3811s need a great deal of exercise to release and ground their creative energy. Once in shape, they thrive under a daily routine. In relationships, even though they can appear very secure, the double one and the three means that 3811s often seek out one or more partners to give them a better sense of themselves. Most 3811s have paradoxal energy in that they need a strong person to lean on, and yet they tend to control everybody in the world. The nature of their relationships and sexuality reveals much about how 3811s are working through their life issues. 
Most 3811s find the issues of power and control, as well as insecurity, may enter the bedroom with them. They may use sexuality and their partner as a means of release without applying sensitivity to their partner's needs. They may give away their power or abuse it. Sexually, they either like to be in charge or they like to be overempowered. Bondage and sexual power games were probably invented by a 3811. Of course, when working in the positive, 3811s can have mutually satisfying relationships, sexual and otherwise. In any case, their personal relationships serve as a mirror to help them understand and balance their lives. Most 3811s are natural leaders with an important quality of authority, sensitivity, and creativity that can help solve any problem. They can make admirable or despicable politicians. Depending on whether they're working their issues with power and creativity in positive or negative ways. Applying power wisely and with authority or using power to control others. While not all 3811s serve in obvious positions of authority, they may guide others at school, at work, or at home through their powerful mind and creative ideas. They make capable inventors, innovators, and leaders in creative fields, such as business or fine arts. Many 3811s work as business entrepreneurs, empire builders, heads of state, or heads of small businesses. Whether they're preachers or problem solvers, they stand out in their field. In the financial area, 3811s may experience self-sabotage, both desire and fear, and a tendency toward feast or famine. Having a stable, conservative, personal or business partner who is good with money can help. When 3811s dedicate their creativity toward the common goal, good, making a positive difference in the world, money comes to them naturally. The more energy and service they put into the world, the more money comes back to them. Keys to fulfilling your destiny by focusing on your or by focusing your attention on core issues and by generating specific action to transform key areas of your life. Take back your power, but also learn to let go of control. Do vigorous daily exercise to replace addictions. Express what you feel and feel the power of expression. Find ways to help charitable causes. Reflect on these following questions. When do you give away your power? When do you over control? How does your creative energy serve others? In what ways are you generous with your money or energy? When you feel insecure or frustrated, do you discharge energy in constructive? or destructive ways. If any of these questions generate any insights, how might you put these into practice? By deepening your understanding, you can tap into these spiritual laws to help change your life. The law of choices. We can choose to create or express in positive or negative ways. The law of higher will. By our willingness to serve a higher purpose, we inspire ourselves and others. The law of honesty. 
Acknowledging feelings to ourselves and others is a primary force of energy. The law of attraction. To overcome insecurity, we need to acknowledge our vulnerability, but act with confidence. The law of intuition. As we stop monitoring others' opinions, we can connect with our heart's wisdom. Consider how you might apply each law into your life. Thank you for listening. Many blessings to you.